Okay, this is really intriguing. So let me go back over it with you. There's no premise for the video. There's no like thought-provoking thesis or anything. I just pop the tins one after the other and I eat them. And you're saying the feeder daddies will tip me supers and even order me more tins so that I can continue to eat and ostensibly get bigger right in front of them. Okay, I'll get back to you. Thanks. That's a great idea. All right. All right, dude. All right. Bye. What are we even doing here? So we're not going to do exactly that. There will be no feeders. There will be no daddies. There will be no monetary coercion. But I will eat fish and uh, I will eat until I'm full. I've laid out Oh, how many tins do we have here? Eight tins. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make it through eight, you know? Um, let's start with this Branzino Grigliato. Yeah, Branzino is like a Mediterranean sea bass. This is uh, an Italian product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wanna say that this is just more from Tom Krasuk. Yeah. Um, is that covering us up? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never had this before. It's really exciting to have any kind of flaky white fish in a can. I have a feeling I'm nervous. I have a feeling this is gonna be sort of an Espinaler trip here with this, huh? Mm -hmm. See this? Dang, that's good. Okay. Man, this is like the flakiest white fish I've had in a can, huh? Do you call Branzino a white fish? I would. This is really firm though. Really firm and meaty, but flaky. Really good, really, really good. Espinaler habanero style, right? Is that what it is? Yeah, kind of extra hot. Get a little bit of that in there. I'm feeling good. I think I could eat like 10 cans of this. Chasing this around. Maybe I need a fork. No. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll come back to it. Um, King Oscar salmon. <clears throat> this is totally new for me. And this is Mediterranean style, right? Purple means Mediterranean style for King Oscar. Salmon, salmon, salmon. We just did all that wild fish smoked salmon, which was uh, really, really good. Son of a gun, you can really throw this on a salad, that's for sure. Pretty good, you see it. Oh man, we're like filling up with these big fishy fish here. I guess the plan is we'll squeeze the sardines and stuff into uh, other areas of my stomach. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. That was easy. Wow, what a flavor. Um, maybe we'll do these Belvedere smoked sprats and oil. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shout out to my guy Lucky. I know he's into these. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been so long since I've had any of these Latvian guys, right? These are Latvian, of course they are. It's kind of hard to tell. We'll just say they are. Okay, this is gonna be kind of a slog because there's a lot of these guys. Mm-hmm, double up. You know, when you don't have much time to eat your french fries, you start grabbing a bunch. Love how the skin goes when they smoke it. Get a little tail in the back of my throat. That's okay. That's just the way they are. I love them anyway. Mm-hmm. 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 We're making a mess. We're gonna make a mess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
that's just three cans in. Now this tastes really weird after having all this other stuff. I'm starting to like feel like I've really eaten too much in a short space of time. Oh, okay. Bertha Filets de Sardines, right? Yeah. So where are these from? I've never had this brand before. Portugal. These are, I suppose, skinless and boneless? Yeah. This is something Dan sent over. Part of the omakase. Um, and, uh, you know, I was curious to see if this is a new spin on skinless and boneless. I can have an open mind. Delicious. Oh no. I'm already feeling so full. Oh, there's skin here. We even got some scales here. So just because we lost the bones doesn't mean we're losing all the fun. Yeah, I'm going kind of fast, but I'm not like some kind of like competitive eating kind of guy. I can only eat so much, you know? I'm totally normal when it comes to volume of food. So we're not going, you know, who's that guy? Johnny Chestnut? Yeah. My favorite is um, that LA Beast guy. Okay, come on. LA come on. Beast here. It's fun to watch him suffer. Out of everybody, he's the funnest to watch suffer. Oh no. What are we doing here, man? Um, this is Garfish. Garfish is gonna be, you know, kind of those skinny guys. They're gonna be like those uh, white anchovy sized fish, um, but still quite firm. Yeah. And then this is a really nice tin of sardinias. Do I wanna blow them like this? I'm like really, oh, it's like I'm just self-destructing in front of you guys. We're gonna do the razor clams. We're gonna do the razor clams. Even though this is like a really expensive thing of razor clams, I think. Um, I don't know how much they are, but I've had a tin like this before because Island Creek Oysters sent me over a bunch of this stuff. Let's do it. I don't think I've ever done razor clams on canned fish files. So I'll tell you what, I sort of fell off the whole uh, another fish conquered thing because it was just a lot of extra production work, you know? It was like, you know, I'd be, hmm? I'd be like almost through editing a video and then I'd realize, oh my God, I gotta, I gotta shoot this overhead thing and put a sticker on the thing. So I stopped doing it. Uh, just so lazy. Fascinating. These have, um, there's sort of some jelly action here. Weird, huh? It's like, this isn't what I remember them looking like. Let's give them a shot. They passed the smell test. Yeah. Delicious. These are gonna be enhanced thus. You know what? I've had a minute since my previous scan and I'm starting to feel feel good now. I think we can make it through this tin at least. So sweet, so tender, so fun to chew through. Um, I like these a lot. These uh, compare favorably with, I think like the Jose Gourmet razor clams that I've had before. You do kind of sit and chew these for a while, but it's okay. Chewing is really pleasurable. Um, they really seem like a delicacy, you know? Like really nice mussels seem like a delicacy, but these also are kind of in that neighborhood. And it would seem even more exciting and fancy if I wasn't just plowing through them like a madman. What a freaking mess. Okay, let's let's look at these sardinias. R de art. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. I don't want to set this down in the puddle of oil on my desk. And these are what? These are Spanish. Product Spain. Small sardines and olive oil. Okay, we're gonna keep this box. This box goes in the scrapbook. <clears throat> Okay. 
I don't want to be too dramatic, but I really like, um... Oh my God. I didn't think it was going to be like this. Look at these. God damn if they're not in here belly up. Oh man. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Almost looks like the gnashing of a monster's teeth. That's right. Beautiful. So beautiful. And then turn them over. Show your top guy. Yeah. Thank God they're small. Wow. These are really, 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 really great. Tasty. They're tender. Son of a gun. Oh man, how's he gonna get out of this one? It's new Patreon people shout out time. People like Deans Listers, Deans and Anchovy the Kittens, and Martina Nihonera, and fishy freaks like Alexander Pristine, Austin Tallman, Chris Balahadia, Dogi Doji, and Philip Miley. Okay, back to the show. Guys, I can't. I can't do anymore. It didn't take it didn't take that long. One, two, three, four, five and a half. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.